Hey, don't you have a job to do? This is my job, that's your job over there. That over there. Oh, come on, Ma. Why do I gotta go keep doing this? <laughs> How's your job going? When I look into your eyes. Oh, don't get that too close. I see a lullaby. Excuse me? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I got it. It's their calling from down there. It's been a long time. Ever wonder how we get all the drive shots of us driving out of places? Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> so, one time Dave almost forgot me, but he hasn't done it since. I honestly think he forgot about me. <laughs> the last time when I was at my convention, he came here by himself. And uh, so maybe he's used to having me or not having me in the passenger seat because he's gone. <laughs> he's still going. <laughs> Look at this. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. <laughs> Wonder if they need another farmhand around here. Concentrate on driving. <laughs> it is a beautiful rig. I don't mind. The more time I can spend outside, the better. Hello, hello. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool, I'm excited to see everybody. I am too, it's been a little while, what, a week without friends? It's been a long time coming. <laughs> Cue music. All right, yes. We actually like our own music. And other music too, but yes, we like our own music. Mostly our own music. <laughs> yeah, we, we listen to our own music, we listen to other people play our own music. <laughs> it's basically all about us. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. They say follow the path every other person's on. When it comes to living blind society, We have about 14 minutes left. Excited? Giddy is a schoolgirl. I've used that joke already, haven't I? Uh, I apologize. I'm very excited. I've, I've heard you say it a few times, but it, it's still funny. I, I can, still like it. I can do better. I feel like I can do better. <laughs> I feel like I'm leaving leaving money on the table at this point. <laughs> yeah. Last minute fuel stop, and then we're both really excited. I feel like I got a lot of my health coaching work done, checking in with clients and doing all of that. So the next few days, we get to just hang out with friends, some work, and then we have our concert. Well, we have two shows. We have a show tomorrow night and yeah. a show Saturday. Oh my gosh, yeah. So we have friends who we know who are there already, and we have new friends because people we've heard are already there for our pop-up concert, which is in how many days now? Four days? Get some gas. <laughs> Wow, it's 
yourself the things you see on the road. I see Richard, I see Karen, I see um, Nathan, yeah, I see Sharon and Dennis, yeah, Karen and Jeff, Karen and Jeff one and Karen and Jeff two, so yeah, awesome, all right, got to pick a spot, yeah, okay, and what Hi, is your name? Hard. Carlos. There you go. See yeah. you again. <laughs> hey, it's quite the spot. I know. Don't you just love all the flowers? I do. Did you plant these? Yes, I did. Just for you guys. I like it. How you doing? This place is beautiful. I love the meadow. Yeah, isn't it nice? The meadow is beautiful. Yeah. Good to see ya. Dandelions and. We got some uh, D -dog. mules ears all over the place. I love it. Yeah, this is amazing. Do you know where you're headed? Where you no. want to go? You can pick any spot you want. So it's just beautiful. The whole place. Yeah. So uh, I know we'll we'll try to find a spot for you. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Cool. Good to see you. Right, good to see you. So we're going to go in this spot, we're going to go uh, perpendicular to Nathan and Jeff and Karen. And we're going to have our truck out of the way, so if Jeff has to hook up his rig in an emergency, he can get to it. Yeah, and... Nathan can get to his. Everybody can get to their rigs to hook up if there's an emergency. You don't really want to block somebody's front area because if you're gone or your truck is sitting there blocking it, it's a bad day because if they have to get out of here fast with a fire or a storm or something. Nice flower. Thanks, I forgot it was in. Workout space, right here. We just have to get our rug to pat everything down to, you know, haul the flowers and stuff. And then I have a spot to work out. Love it. Where are you going? What are you looking I'm for? Talking. Not used to being on camera. Yeah. All right, ready to unhook? Yep. I'm ready. Hey. Awesome. All the roadies are here, yeah. man. We paid every person here to be here. Um, I'm still waiting uh, for my cat. We paid in chickens. <laughs> Jacqueline paid us. Yeah, she paid you. <laughs> All right, find a spot. Good to see ya. All right. So today we're taking off for a show in West Yellowstone at Wild West Saloon and Pizzeria, Pizzeria or Saloon. I don't know which one comes first. So we got a group coming out to watch us today. You can look behind us. There's Jeff over there, hanging out, doing his thing. There he is. We got, I don't know, I think we counted 11 or 12 rigs in here and they're all coming to the show today. So, and we have another show in two days back here at the, at the meadow in Island Park. So looking forward to uh, going up there and playing some music tonight. We play seven to 10. This isn't live, so I guess that doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Can't wait to go and it'll be a fun afternoon, fun evening. We have a show tonight at the Wild West Saloon and Pizzeria in West Yellowstone, Montana. And there's no place to park. And that's really hard when you have a whole bunch of gear that you have to bring in. You kind of need to be right by the door. Um, so we're just double parked here. So I'm going to stay in here while Dave brings everything in just in case I have to move us. 
we have a bunch of people coming so we're having a pop-up concert and uh, we play in two days the pop-up concert but a bunch of people are already here staying with us out boondocking and they're all coming tonight so it's gonna be fun it's always way more fun when you have people there um, who you know and who have come to see you makes it a lot of fun all right I found a spot across the street or around the corner and across the street I'm sure Dave's wondering where the heck the truck went with his guitar <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna grab it and then get in there and help him set up. So today is the day of the pop-up in Island Park, Idaho. A little bit of a breeze and we had um, rain clouds coming in. They keep popping up. It's so strange because in Arizona it's always the same day, same weather. And here they can just pop up out of the mountains. So we're going to set up over here underneath things awning. Sorry I'm making you dizzy again. And then we have a fire ring over here. We have a fire tonight. This is what you get when you come to a Border Hookups pop-up concert. Free concert. You get to hang out with friends free camping at least at this one and uh yeah it's gonna be a fun day looking forward to it sun starting to pop Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. Today I'm making a new recipe and this is spaghetti squash pizza nests. And this is my first step. So I've cooked my spaghetti squash. Um, I took a fork and I shredded it all out and then I added some eggs and some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of salt. And then I sprayed a little bit of nonstick um, olive oil 
on these muffin tins. And as you can see, I put it inside. And what I'm doing is I'm making these so that there's a little pocket in them. And I'm gonna bake those for about 12 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. When they come out, I'll show you what I'm putting inside of them. All right, now the crusts are finished and now I'm going to put the filling in them. So I have cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms, and I'm gonna sprinkle that with a little Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna stir it up. Oh, I should turn the light on. You can see that better. Fill these little nests with my mixture. Oops. And then after that, I am going to sprinkle um, them with some cheese, mozzarella cheese and I'm going to put them back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. Oh, that looks pretty good. So those are spaghetti squash pizzas and this is part of my healthy weight loss program. And here is just another client success story. And that's been another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Garbing. And please remember to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as soon as we have more episodes coming out. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below so that we can respond. And if you want some more behind the scenes fun content, uh, consider becoming a member. Just hit that join button and you will see some options. And we hope to see you out here. We'll see you out here. Yeah. 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 We have a friend who's been very supportive of us doing this. And he was going to come out and join us. He has pancreatic cancer. He's never going to be able to do this. So I'm really happy that everybody here is doing it now. This one's for Todd. For Todd.